Hey guys, it's Brian Loans from the NHRA, Bankshift.com. For those of you that have been following the project on Bankshift, you know that during this downtime that we have from the drag racing season, I've been working on a small engine, and it's a 1960s era Tecumseh 12 horsepower engine, kind of doing a restoration. We're calling it the isolation restoration because of all the fact that we're all stuck at home these days. One of the companies that I talked to when I was doing this project is a company that I've worked with before, and I'm telling you about this product because you might not know about it, and if you don't, you absolutely should. Evaporust is insanely good. If you've never used this product before, um, I can't really recommend it enough. I have used it in the past, and when I talked to the folks at Evaporust, and said, hey, I'd like to use it again on this engine because it's a restoration project. I'm not trying to replace a lot of stuff in this engine. I'm trying to bring back the history, trying to bring back things as they were in their former glory. And when we talk about stuff like that, we have pieces like this, kind of a dust shield, and I want to paint it, make it nice, but it's all kind of crudded up and nasty and rusted. Uh, same thing goes, you know, the exhaust. Again, I'm looking for kind of a show quality on this thing, and this is actually a nice piece to save, but you can see it's got rust and a bunch of stuff on it. So rather than replace this stuff, I'm going to use the Evapo Rust to give us a really nice return to that bare metal, really nice return, get the, rid of the rust, and then we can clean it up. Now, Evapo Rust is not going to remove paint. It is a non-toxic product. You can touch it. You, you don't have to be fearful of odor. It is a very interesting thing because all of the performance that this product has, it doesn't really come with a lot of downsides. This piece right here is an example. This piece was as nasty looking or worse off than my dust shield was. It's a piece of the engine tin that goes at the top of the engine. And all I did was put this in the evapo rust for about 18 hours, and I can show you before and after here, you'll see it in the video. And what came out was this finish here. Now here and here, I did touch with the polishing wheel as it had some hardcore kind of uh, gunk on it that the evapo rust doesn't eliminate. Um, the wheel took that off, that's why I see a little bit more polish here. But otherwise, this bare metal finish is exactly how it came out of the evapo rust tank, uh, which is my five gallon bucket here. So, no VOCs non-toxic they advertise the product as being super safe and honestly it is the amazing thing about this stuff is how well it performs it seems like it's a gimmick when you read about it on the internet or when you read the advertising like how could this possibly work as good as it does but i'm going to prove it to you so i'm going to place my dust shield and i'm going to place this exhaust in my tank here my five gallon bucket and i'm just gonna hang it in i put a little wire on there it goes right in and here comes my exhaust that will go in as well. So what we'll do is I'm not going to disturb anything. I'm going to leave this exactly as it is for about 18, 24 hours. And we're going to come down and give it a check again. And um, just going to stick the lid on it. Have a beard. And so as promised, we're back. This is 24 hours after I put the stuff here in our Evaporust 5-gallon bucket. I have not peeked at it. I have not touched it. I have not altered it in any way. And it is time to uh, make the final inspection here. So the lid's going to come off. As I mentioned earlier, uh, previously in the video, this stuff is non-toxic. It doesn't smell. It's not acidic. It's not caustic. It's, it's surprisingly... Uh, gentle and easy to handle so i don't have to be wearing gloves or any sort of safety safety equipment here because it doesn't require it so here comes our dust shield and look <laughs> look at this thing look at it literally like it's brand new you saw how cruddy and crummy it was when it went in there uh again i haven't done anything but leave this stuff sit for 24 hours so if i take a take a little rag here and wipe it all that's left on there is just some some there's a gunk that i can clean out very easily see both sides of it. I mean, that is unbelievable. It is right down to bare metal like it's new. Now the second thing I put in here was the exhaust off of the engine and it may seem a little weird, but it's liquid, it's gonna flow right out of the muffler and stuff like that. And again, as restoration, I didn't wanna to have to replace all this stuff, so I wanna see what it's gonna look like now. That is stunning results on our dust shield. <laughs> look at this. So once again, just gonna give it a quick wipe here. Look at it. I mean, the thing's like brand new. Absolutely like brand new. Amazing. You can see the pipe, no rust left on the pipe. That looks like it's brand new. The muffler itself is in immaculate condition. I mean, it really is amazing. Especially when you look at like a rusty, you know, threaded iron pipe that went in there and now it is absolutely perfect. It's gonna look basically 
perfect going out of the block, which I'm going to paint and get prepared. Um, so yeah, this is the EvapoRust 24-hour challenge. I have a bunch more parts to, to dip in here and to, to like let settle and let this product do its work. But if you're somebody that uh, is doing a restoration product or project, somebody that needs a rust remover uh, on a regular, you can get this stuff in all different sizes. You don't have to get a five-gallon bucket and get a one-gallon container and use your own containers. You can go all the way up to like a 55-gallon drum of this stuff if you want to. For me, this is the great solution because again, I can do what I just did, hang the parts in there and uh, let it work. But the the proof's in the pudding here. We look at what's happened here, and we look at, again, the amazing results that we've gotten on the dust shield. So, EvapoRust, you can check them out on the internet at EvapoRust.com. Uh, it's a great product. I stand by it. The results speak for themselves, and I have an engine I've put together.